It's Friday, September 20th, 2024. It's day one of the school swarm in Bainbridge, New York. But we're four hours from there, so we need to get on the road. My buddy John is gonna be traveling in his hybrid. I'll be in the schoolie. That way we'll have easy transportation for day trips from the location we're going to be camping in. Groceries are put away, and we're on our way. We have arrived and picked a spot. They're going to be up to 90 rigs attending at some point. It's a little past eight on Saturday morning. John slept in the bed in the back and together we converted the dinette into the bed that I slept on. Pretty comfy. Breakfast is served. The event is billed as Schoolie Swarm on the Susquehanna, and here's the river. Today is the open air fair, and the weather is perfect for it. This truck is making us lunch. It's closing in on 6.15 p.m. on Saturday, and we've been summoned for a gathering. Okay, everybody can hear me? I'm gonna go ahead and start then. All right, first things first, thank you so much for coming to the Schoolie Swarm, because if you weren't here, it wouldn't be as cool. So we're gonna have icebreakers. There's a game at one, there's things to talk about at other ones and the goal is for you to get up when you feel like getting up and go to a different fire but don't just walk with all the people that you were sitting with go go make new friends at a different fire like split up as the sun sets the campfires are sparking up we've got chicken cutlets on the grill dinner is served it's Sunday morning, and I'm trying out the oven by making muffins. And in they go. And breakfast is served. It's a rainy Monday morning, and we're headed to a communal breakfast. At the end of a cold and rainy day, Folks are once again gathering in the shelter. For chocolate treats and eventually for karaoke. It's Tuesday morning, closing in on 11 a.m. and I'm headed for a talk about boondocking. Often, there's a lot of different uh, organizations. Uh, so you know, I stop at the moose club and go have a beer and talk to them about what we're doing, how we're traveling. Oftentimes, the moose, the PFW, the American Legion, they don't have a problem with you staying overnight. So we're gathered now for Taco Tuesday. Everybody's made a contribution. All right, thanks for coming down.
around everybody. We're going to go ahead and pray and have dinner. A lazy Wednesday morning includes a trip to the laundromat. At nightfall, a particularly impressive bus arrived, just in time for an hors d'oeuvre and wine tasting event, which includes live music. <laughs> Thursday, our last day at the Schoolie Swarm, and after a nice communal breakfast, given the rainy forecast, we went for a drive and ended up in Cooperstown, where can be found the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum. I don't care a fig about baseball, so we're going to go elsewhere, like the Village Hall Library and Art Gallery. It's six o'clock, and people are heading to the pavilion for the Paint Your Partner event. Here are the materials. So, of course, everybody's going to have to share materials. We've got plenty of paintbrushes, different colors of paint. If you can't find one you're looking for, get up and walk down the line. I didn't expect there to be this many people, so it might get a little bit loud in here to see how we paint. It's an overcast Friday morning. Two days remain of the schoolie swarm here, but it's our checkout day. First step is to convert the spare bed back into a dinette. That goes a lot faster with editing. And John has cooked us a tasty warm breakfast. It's late morning on Friday. The sun has finally come out through the clouds. It's warm on my shoulders. There's a bonfire being set up for tonight. New rigs have arrived, but alas, it's time for us to get home.